Hello, Bottom Books fans, this is Scorp1701, and it's time to take a look at our weekly finds. And if you're new to this segment, the weekly finds is basically a week-long toy hunt that I do, and I like to snap pictures of awesome toys that I think you guys might be interested in, and that I'm interested in, and at the end of the week we'll compile them all together and see what we have found. And this lets you know that the toys are actually out on the shelves, so if you're looking for them, happy hunting. So, starting with pops like we usually do, at Target I found the entire wave of the DS de Morta, the Day of the Dead, pop from DC superheroes you had the pops that kind of look like little candy skull uh, with all the pretty colors you had the Batman the Blue Beetle Green Lantern the Joker Harley Quinn and Bane and most of these were exclusive to Target the only ones that kind of went wide circulation were Batman and the Joker I think these were pretty cool <laughs> Also at Target, I found a Jumbo Spider-Man in black and gold suit pop. That was neat. Can't wait for the No Way Home movie to come out. And you know what I'm thinking? We always look at this and we assume that maybe Tom Holland's in there. But what if it's not Tom Holland? What if it's Tobey Maguire? What if it's Andrew Garfield? You know, you think about Spider-Man is you can't see his face. So we could be like seeing multiple Spider-Men just swinging around because there's going to be three specific suits in the movie. Who knows? That's just, just throwing it out there. Anyway, also at Walmart, I found some exclusive band box sets. And these were like actually located behind the counter in the electronics department. I actually had to ask the employees to kind of bring them forward so I could take a look at them. First of all, you had NSYNC, and it was like a five-pop box set with, I think, a little record in there, so that was neat. You had the Guns N' Roses set with Axl Rose and his crew. And if you look at the bottom, each of them had like a 2021 Funko Walmart limited edition exclusive sticker. And the last one I found was the ACDC set and that with the Back in Black album, so that was cool. Also, in the Walmart collectible section, I found some more of these Garbage Pal Kids slash WWE Tops loyal subjects. However many people are putting this together, you had Savage Randy and you had Gigantic Andre. Obviously, Randy Savage and Andre the Giant, and those were really neat. To go along with your Steve Austin and Ultimate Warrior that we saw a couple weeks ago. So if you're interested in these, still no sting, so I'm not picking them up. At Target, I found these cute little Disney play sets. And if you have kids, I think they'll be great. I think what really got my attention is they had a glitter finish. <laughs> So if you see, this is the Aladdin one here. You have uh, Aladdin characters up there at the top, and at the bottom you actually have the playset, which is like the palace. And you see some of the little towers in there are actually glitter finished, so that was neat. I loved it. And they also had Belle's Cottage, and Belle's Cottage was all glitterified. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Look at that. And then some of her furniture up there has glitter on it too. And then you have Belle up there and Gaston and some chickens and pigs and the Philippe. So that is neat. I'm waiting for the Beast Castle. I know it's coming, so I'll take a picture of it. I probably won't pick it up, but it's still, I think it's going to be cool. And that same display up above, they had this nice figurine play set with Spider-Man fighting off Doc Ock, Green Goblin, Venom, and Sandman. So those are pretty neat. Again, gearing up for the Spider-Man movie coming up or Christmas. You know, these are good for different things. I think they each have their own personal base to them, so you can put them around the office, put them on your desk, Take them to school. I don't know what you want to do with them. But I thought it was pretty neat. In the Mego section, I found a Mr. Spock. And Mr. Spock is great. I think they're finally starting to do different characters in this line. I think we found Bones last month. Don't know if we've ever seen Kirk. I know there was like the salt vampire and stuff like that. But I thought uh, him being one of the main characters, Spock would be a good picture to take. Also for Migos, I found Geordi LaForge. Now, in this line, I know there's been Picard and Q. And then the cutest. And there was supposed to be a data, but I never saw a data. But here is Jordy, so he looks pretty neat. Not so sure I like a black phaser that he has hanging off his belt, but at least they're giving us something new, so I'm happy with that. 
for NECA Toonie Terrors, I found Captain Blake. I think this is part of the wave with Elvira and Reanimator Guy, but I just didn't see this one. But here he is. He looks all creepy and zombified out. So I've seen a picture of this guy, and for some reason, I thought he was going to be a deluxe figure and very tall. It just may have been the picture, and they made him look like he was big, but this is just a standard-sized Toonie Terror. Also for Toonie Terrors, I found the Miner from My Bloody Valentine. I'm not sure if I've seen this guy before. I don't recollect him, so I took a picture of him and put him up. I may have to go back and see if I actually did see him before, and if he is, I'll probably take him out of this review. But if not, there he is. He's really creepy looking. At Walmart, I found this awesome box set from the loyal subject and this is a cool box set featuring leonardo michelangelo donatello and Raphael. and the box is set up to look like a pizza and that is really cool you got a little receipt up there on the top left and you have i'd imagine that's michelangelo about to chow down on a piece of pizza at bst pizza teenage mutant ninja turtles and you open it up and you see the four figures in there, and on the left side, you kind of have like a grease-stained <laughs> turtle symbol. And you got some more grease stains down there in the bottom. The box was really nicely designed, and you got some different uh, toppings, it looks like, on the side of the box. And if we can get a little closer in, we can see all the guys here. You see Michelangelo, Raphael, Leonardo, and Donatello. Uh, looks like Raphael's size are falling out, so that's weird. I don't really see a bow staff in there for Donatello. I'm sure it's in there somewhere. And this was a pretty neat set. I think they wanted like 70 bucks for it. So if you're looking for this particular one, and they're all in red. That's from their original appearance in the comics. If you're curious about why they're not in their traditional colors, that is why that is. And that's going to be at Walmart. And staying on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle line, for NECA, I found the... Dirt bag and ground chuck two pack and like the screw loose and wing nut i'm not familiar with these characters i know they may have been in the cartoon once or twice but i really had no interest in putting them in my collection although i will say the dirt bag gimmick where he kind of comes apart and is kind of popping out of a dirt circle is kind of cool but <laughs> Not cool enough for me to spend like 50 bucks on this set but if you're looking for them they're hitting target shelves right now for Marvel Legends, I found the retro-carded Fantastic Four Target exclusives with Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic, The Human Torch, and The Thing, and they were really, really cool. Reed Richards, and he can actually come out of that coat, so you can have coated Reed Richards, or you could have regular armed Reed Richards, so that's cool. Human Torch was there, had some little flame effects and alternate hands, and then you had The Thing, and The Thing was heavy. He has got some mass to him. I didn't find the High Evolutionary or Invisible Woman, and I think there was a couple more in the line, but these are the only three I found. Thought about picking them up because I could always use a Fantastic Four set in my collection, but uh, now is not the time. Maybe they'll put out a nice box set later down the road that I'll pick up. Who knows? And the last thing I want to talk about finding is not a toy, but this awesome tasting holiday Mountain Dew. This is called Mountain Dew Ginger Snapped, and it was great. Looks kind of weird and cloudy, but it tastes really good. If, if you like your Mountain Dew tasting like gingerbread. So it really, it's good. I'd recommend it. Give it a try. If you're interested, you can find it at Walmart, and it's pretty tasty. All right, guys, that is it. That is the weekly finds. I hope I found something that you found interesting this week. I know there wasn't a lot, but uh, I did notice that the shelves are getting stocked up for Christmas, and I anticipate a lot of cool toys coming out in the next few weeks, so stay tuned, and we'll do this again next week. And until next time, guys, keep playing.